Hi, Mark from Harvard Dark here and welcome to Homebrew Wednesday. What we're doing today? We're testing out the flow meter. Flow meter? Yes, I've decided to buy a flow meter and an automatic solenoid activated valve. Why? Because I can. If you haven't worked it out by now, I'm a, I like a bit of flash, a bit of tech, you know. So um, basically it's just a flow meter with a little impeller. Water flies through, tells you how many litres you've used uh, or have passed through the valve, uh, etc. And uh, you can even set it up so you say, Give me, I don't know, five litres of, of water. It will measure that and turn the valve off and on uh, automatically. So I can say for a sparge, I want six litres. Wham, off it goes. It saves me trying to me measure or read the very poor sight glass I've got. Yeah, I could buy another side glass. It's very cheaper, a lot cheaper. But this is more exciting. This is tech. I'm a techie bloke. Right, well that's it. So uh, let's move on and show you what's next. So what we got? We set off with a power supply, okay? So I've bought a 24 volt waterproof LED power supply. So it's just 24 volts DC out. I'm throwing a bit of a flex, I can plug it in. That's going to feed into the control panel. This is quite expensive actually, about 30 odd quid. I told you like me gizmos. Um, there's a, a power connector so that will be chopped off and connected to the output of this. This thing has very short wires by the way. What's going on there? This then has um, what two other connectors. One of the connectors, this one, goes to the flow meter itself. So it's a standard flow meter. Now you, you can get these um, separately, but I wanted to go on that worked with no hassle. So I've just thrown a quick disconnect on uh, three wires, plus minus, and probably a, a Hall effect sensor. They're kind of fiber optic ones in here, but I'm pretty sure for the quality and cheapness I've bought, it's going to be a Hall effect, but it'll work, don't worry. Uh, I've emailed the company at these and said, well, what temperature does it work up to? And I Pretty sure they replied and said about 80 degrees, which is I'm working right at the top of the uh, the temperature. So pushing on. The output has these yellow wires, which go to a solenoid. So this is actually a, it's a solenoid activated valve. You can buy these with uh, plastic or brass fittings. I figured plastic might be a bit poor, so I've gone for the uh, the brass ones. And uh, standing at the top of the here, I can get the top off. Hold on. So on the top of the solenoid are just two connectors. Uh, this is a 12 volt uh, valve DC. So 24 volt comes out of here, into here. This controls it all and will send the signal to say, whoa, stop to that. Let me lash it up and see if it works. Okay, so she's turned on. Um, found this in the box, it's a thermocou uh, thermometer thing, thermocouple. Um, yeah, the wires go off, I've wired it up, so basically uh, it'll be in, flow sensor, go straight out, all lashed up at the moment, to my valve, and then that'll just go into a bucket down there. And I've noticed if I do a run stop, you can hear a click, or a, a bop. So it's working the valve, that's good. I'm not quite sure I actually get this all not leaking, it's going to be a pain in the arse, but alright. Oh, it's now just over my HLT. So let's do a run stop. Let's do this light off above me. Might be able to see the screen better. Right, we'll do a run stop, so run. Okay, water is now flowing through into my fermenter bucket at seven point well about seven litres per minute it's LPM and of course the thing on the left shows it so when I press stop so say we're running now look at the top we've got two litres oops sorry camera actions crap two litres 2.78 three litres I've pressed run stop and it has stopped okay so that worked didn't it Oops. Oh, God's sake, it'd be nice to have a, for once, have something which went right. Right, let's 
So that that now is telling me I've got a total of 3.13 litres all the way through. And let's press a set. Let's set this. Uh, let's set this for. Uh, oops. Say I want five litres, okay? So I've set that at the top for five litres. Say this was the uh, the sparge. I want five litres. And there'll be a valve on this to slow it down. So let's just see what happens. I'll do a run. And confirm water is spewing out and the middle is the active so you can see on the screen it's working. Okay four getting close it should softly stop. And indeed it had closed the valve. Spot on five litres. Okay, I think that was a pretty good test actually. Um, it proves it works. Um, there's a few leaks sort out, but that's just a bit of PTFE tape. Um, what I'm going to do is mount this between the HLT and the mash tun. Right, okay, well, Mark from Hover Dog. Uh, signing off, if you like it, click like, subscribe, etc. I don't get any money from that, by the way, if you subscribe, it's just spreading the word of Relay and how to make a brewer, really. Okay, so it's Mark from Hover Dog out. And as always, stay thirsty.